Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to be talking about the new Baratza Encore ESP coffee grinder. Coffee Hit have kindly loaned me this, I'll be sending it back straight after this review as they needed it for London Coffee Festival and they sent me the only one they have, very trusted of them. So this is just an overview video, but I will be buying one as soon as they're in stock so I can do more videos on this grinder. The Baratza Encore has been one of the best selling entry level burr grinders for quite some time, it's very popular for manual brew but it wasn't really suitable for espresso, mainly because it lacked the grinding range and fine adjustment. So Baratza have developed the ESP model. Don't be confused by its name, it's not actually going to start reading your mind to work out what grind setting is perfect for you, it's just short for espresso. And it's designed to work for espresso and manual brew, but still it only has 40 grind settings. So how does that work? Keep watching and you'll find out. The RRP is about £200 in the UK, $200 in America. It's not just for espresso, it's an all-rounder grinder. It'll grind for manual brew methods like Aeropress, pour over and so on. For this budget, there are already a lot of grinders in this space, but the options are extremely limited in this price range where espresso capable grinders are concerned. It comes with a standard grinds container and a dosing cup, and the dosing cup has a gasket, which means it fits porter filters from 53 to 58 mil. There's a standard hopper and Baratza also make this single doser attachment and this is $24 or £25. An on off switch for continuous grinding and an on demand button. It's available in white or black. It has 40mm conical steel burrs from Etzinger. The original Encore burrs are the Etzinger M3 burrs. The burrs on the ESP are the sharper M2 steel Etzinger burrs used in the Virtuoso Plus. It has quick release burrs, which means it's very easy to get the burrs out for cleaning. It has a high torque DC motor, 550 RPM. This should be more than powerful enough to deal with most beans, including lighter roasts, but we'll do some testing with this in later videos. It's on the loud side, a bit louder than the Sage or Breville grinders, not as loud as the Sete grinders, but then again, I don't think there are many things as loud as the Sete's. The retention seems to be quite low, so that's good. It does involve being a bit heavy handed when it comes to hitting the top to get everything out, but it seems like a well built, sturdy unit, so I think it can take it. I wonder if they'd have been better off putting bellows in the top of the single doser unit, but I'm sure there'll be people 3D printing these and selling them on Etsy. So now let's talk about the grind adjustment, as this is the biggest change they've made to the Encore for the ESP version. As I mentioned earlier, there are 40 grind settings, as with the original, but the first 20 are micro and the second 20 are macro. This isn't like the Sete's and Forte, which combine the macro and micro together for huge numbers of grind settings. It's that the first 20 settings are fine adjustments, and when you get into the second 20, they're much bigger adjustments. Every click within the first 20 settings adjusts the burrs by just under 19 microns in vertical burr movement, or 9 microns in terms of the gap between the burrs. Just a very quick bit of info on this, the burrs are conical, so the movement of the inner burr doesn't relate directly to the gap between the burrs. So what this means is that each click moves the inner burr by 18.8 .8 microns, and this relates to a 9 micron gap between the burrs. These figures, by the way, come from Lance Hedrick's in-depth video on this grinder, and I'll link to that at the end of this video. Anyway, this is a very fine adjustment. When we get to the second 20 settings, the adjustments change to being a 90 micron vertical inner burr movement, 45 micron burr gap per click. This is really clever, and they've done it by increasing the pitch of the thread on the adjustment so that half of the adjustment has a much less aggressive pitch. I think the range is great, it goes really fine at the espresso end and I reckon plenty coarse enough at the coarse end. In fact, I think a lot of people will end up at somewhere between the high 20s and low to mid 30s for cafetiere, French press. The espresso range is plenty big enough too for traditional baskets, just keep in mind that if you're using pressurised baskets, dual walled baskets, you probably need to be just outside of the espresso range. So this is an all-rounder grinder with a focus on espresso, so it's intended for people who want to use one grinder for espresso and manual brew. If you're only using manual brewers, then you might want to go for a grinder which has finer adjustment for manual brewing, but for most people who are wanting to grind for espresso and for manual brew methods, I think the way they've done this is great. I've only pulled a handful of shots with it so far on the Classic Pro and the Bambino, but I ended up being dialed in really quickly with both, and I pulled a couple of really nice looking, nice tasting naked portafilter shots with very little effort. 
I'll be spending more time using this grinder when I bought one as this needs to go to the London Coffee Festival and I will do other videos with it in the future including side by side comparisons so subscribe and allow notifications to see them when they're published. Now I'd like to do a group exercise with you all. Please pull out your calculators and do the following. Ready. Okay, let's proceed. Type 111, 111, 111, times 111, 111, 111, equals. And the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which has nothing to do with clicking the like button, but click the like button if this maths just hurt your head. Thank you very much for watching and if you love coffee and enjoyed this video we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista and we've got reviews and how to's on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that click on my face to subscribe. Tatty bye!